All right, so next up we have, uh, I believe it was Zillion versus Yanni. We're gonna be seeing yet another Steve on the stream. Let's go. We are playing on a Minecraft SMP right now. Oh yes, DFW is its own independent Minecraft server. <laughs> um, everybody get here, it's pretty crazy. Having literally like Yanni, one of, like he owns the server. Uh, he is. Yeah, he has mod, you know. Uh, yo, no, yeah, he got mods. He got mods <laughs> in the server, bro. <laughs> Dude, and they're crazy. That's gonna be a PR graphic one day. It's gonna I, be so okay, sad. Okay, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we have Steve versus Rabbit right here. Two zoner archetype-ish characters. Not really for Steve, but kind of. What, what even archetype is Steve? Wacky I, character. Trap character? I don't know. Yeah, so much, so much she can do, and uh, Yanni is pushing the meta for this character. All I know daily. is neither of them is pressing forward right now. No, definitely not. But man, Zillion's just throwing out the Thorons. Like, he, he just wants to get rid of those blocks and just put on the pressure as much as possible. Stop the mining. Absolutely. But right now, Yanni already getting a decent amount of resources, gold materials, but getting a little bit of damage for his troubles. Definitely. And really, these, these Thunder Spells are going to be, like, like pivotal in this matchup. Because those are, those are like Robin's wow. fastest aerials. They can poke from afar. Absolutely. But right now, Yanni already getting his diamond. Only 50% on him. No damage on Zillion yet, though. Not getting hit at all. I think his strategy here is to... Ooh. To not get hit regardless. Yeah, it seems like he was trying to just sacrifice the percent to get those materials early. And, you know, I think it's a pretty sound strategy. Getting diamond early allows you to just take stocks as much as possible. Oh, big combo here from Yanni. Yanni an execution monster, but dropping it there a little bit early. Yeah, and having gold, you know, it, it is a bit faster frame data, so it, it'll be a bit easier to get those combos at low percents, but... Oh, he was definitely looking for, like, some sort of reset into an up smash there, but finding nothing... Incredible Yanni shield. Gonna have to get off the ledge versus Robin. Extremely Ooh. scary and losing the stock right there. Yeah, that that L Thunder uh, L Thunder's crazy. Like it, you wouldn't expect it to have that much knockback, but you know, whenever you're at those hundreds near the ledge, you'll definitely get taken out. Ah, but Yanni having that diamond from the last stock already, this is so scary from Zillion. Almost anything will kill at this percent. Ooh, Maybe not after the Nosferatu. And he's just like <laughs> took that HP right out of Steve. Look at that like patience underneath, just waiting for Yanni to do something before throwing out the back air. Such good patience from Zillion, but Ooh. gonna have to get off the ledge here. Yeah, and it can be pretty hard because Steve has a lot of like long-lasting hitboxes that you can put on the ledge, and you have to be so careful. Now we got the blocks, and the blocks stop also the thunders from coming out and stopping the mining. Ooh, good wow, job. Wow, catching the roll in there with the jab, but Ooh, that fair was really close to hitting Yanni right out of that minecart. <laughs> he just chilled in the minecart for a bit until he dropped down. <laughs> yeah, and then whenever he landed, he actually just went straight back into the power rail to get more distance. But yeah. the back here from Zillion. Funny interaction there, but Zillion just seems so unconcerned with the resources that Yanni yes. has. He's just trying to play to not get hit, period. It doesn't matter if he has stone. It doesn't matter if he has wood. It doesn't matter if he has diamond. Yeah. He's just planning on not getting hit, and yeah. he's not died yet. No, he hasn't, and he keeps healing, too, with the Nosferatu. Like, this is a man who also has to deal with resources, yeah, all I, of his tomes. I, I, I think that he noticed that Yanni, a lot of his neutral in general, just seems to be run-up shield. Yes. But that's not going to work too well versus a character with command grab that heals him. And uh, it's working out so well for Zillion, up three stocks to one. Oh, yeah, and also Zillion's destroys, you know, his incredible oh smash attack God. aerials. Oh, my gosh, that down smash almost took it. It was on the other side, but the back air. He almost, Ooh, he, yeah, he tried he to get the idle block, but not quite. It is a common technique of Steve Mains to, like, place a wall there. Usually better when they have stone just so they can tech off it and not die. Yes. But uh, just a little bit off on the DI there, uh, not able to survive, and Zillion takes game one. Yeah, I think... Something that maybe Yanni could do is maybe double block, give him a little bit Possibly. more, give, give him a little bit yeah, more yeah. like uh, service area to kind of tech off of. But uh, you know, that's just a really good like, that's good game knowledge because like a lot of moves in this game are at the uh, quote unquote soccer right angle, which is it's kind of like that 45 degree angle. And if you can kind of tell where you're gonna land and where someone's gonna punish you, if you put the blocks there and predict those angles. You can survive a lot of stuff, they, you, you can make the casual player ga uh, cape of life, but oh, right now yeah. we're going to a stage with no platforms. Not a single one in sight. Well, I mean, except for the blocks. Except for the, <laughs> except for the ones that, that Steve made himself. But uh, that's not stopping Zillion one bit. He's zoning so hard right now, already getting yeah. so much positioning, and Yanni not even having time to start mining on like last game. Yeah, I'm also really impressed by Zillion's like, just tech that he's using. I saw a wave bounce uh, arc fire earlier, and I'm just like, yeah, Robin's 
pretty slow. Doesn't have a whole oh lot of movement Oh my god! Options. He's so ready for these options. He didn't care about the life. He was so ready to punish that with our fire. Oh yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Once, whenever you get that punish on Steve, like you got to be tricky. You want to hit him as much as possible, especially when he's getting like materials and rushing oh. you down. Okay. Not getting the fair spike there. That could have been really scary for Zillion, but Zillion now back on stage. Uh, and Thor just getting wow. eaten by the blocks. That's so sad. So many Thunder Tome uses. Just getting eaten right up. Yeah. I, I think he expected that forward tilt to break the block, but unfortunately did not. Ooh, Yanni combo. Let's see, Twitter.com. Getting an up tilt back air, just resetting back to center. Both of them at even percent. Pretty solid based on how the beginning of this game went. Ooh, that shield's getting mighty low. Good Finally carry. getting the diamond, but losing the stock for his troubles. Yeah, he didn't use the diamond and didn't lose the actual uh, material itself. Ooh, he almost, <laughs> almost got hit for it. Look at these wave bounce Dude, yes. like arc fires. So they're they're good. so good at catching Yanni retreating. It's it so feels important. like Yanni doesn't have a safe haven on stage until he places blocks. Yes, but once he does place the blocks, that just shuts down a lot of Zillion zoning. Um, but back to even stocks, 27%. That's not too terrible. <laughs> you can't even get grabbed from there. That's crazy. I know. Let's see, trying to like anti air with the axe, but Robin's disjoints are huge. They they really just outshine uh, Steve's range wise. But right now, Yanni seems really comfortable using that shovel to get some materials. One really nice thing about uh, FD is whenever Steve mines, he doesn't use his, his damage dealing tools. He just gets yes. a shovel, yeah. which is really useful for Steve. But his shield is looking so small right now. Oh, yeah. And I think if we see a little bit more of these like multi hit arc fire and arc thunders, we might see a shield break. <laughs> Yanni's building these walls just higher and higher to deal with these arc fires yes. just so he doesn't have to deal with it. <laughs> He's like just trying to like gatekeep as much as possible. Stop that Robin from throwing the oh. arc fires and projectiles. Big Yanni combo here. No jump from Zillion. Unable to capitalize on the lack of resources though because he got hit by the projectile. However, the Ooh. next diamond for the next stock is already on lock. Yanni really comfortable being able to play neutral here. He doesn't have to mine anymore. Yep. Backer wasn't able to take it. Ooh, what's this TNT? That blocks oh the roll. Oh my god. Okay. The, the downer able to take the stock, but I thought that the Thunder might send him into his own trap there for just a moment. <laughs> yeah. Yanni's going to probably be trying to play for uh, with the tools he has right now, just because he wants to keep his diamond for the next stock. Is going to have to find it right here, finding the back air? Yep. Robin's back air is crazy, man. Super yeah. fast, can brain trap, and All the 11 early. moves, just in general, just so strong. Still not able to get the punish with the Thoron. Thoron has not been doing a ton of work this game and falling out of the, uh, the, the Elwyn jab. Yeah, and you hate to see Elwyn, like, just not really work out, because that's also your recovery. If you waste it, that's just also, you know, a recovery wasted as well. Four high walls, yeah, unable to... He can't throw arc fires through it. He can sort of break them down a little bit with, with arc fires. Yeah, and but otherwise not much. I don't know how I feel about these Thorons now. Like he's he, he got it like early like in the first set or the first game, but like at this point you're just wasting thunders. L Thunder's a little bit more useful, I feel like. <laughs> just going right under the projectile with the Elytra. Such an interesting burst option that Steve has. Able to go under some projectiles and Steve just so comfortable mining here for more resources. This could be the stock. Oh, but he oh, drops it. Ooh, uncharacter it. Uh, that was just weird. <laughs> yeah. So, so Yanni missed the fair he always gets, and then Zillion, Zillion kinda... tried to reversal and then just died. Yeah, just uh, that little, was just the end of the game. A little too much commitment. Uh, very awkward end to that <laughs> to that game right there. Um, I think Zillion got like a like a tiny adrenaline rush after realizing he yeah. didn't die to the forward air and was oh, like, yeah. "I'm gonna go for something. This is how I have to end the game." Yeah, I think I think what really should have happened there is just to cover the ledge. Like you know, don't, yeah, that's don't that's crazy. Basically. Your bread and butter is Robin, right? Yes. Just, just being able to cover the ledge. Even yeah. if Steve is pretty good at planking, he's not going to be able to deal with arc fires if yes. you make them like drip down off the ledge. Yeah, if you place so. it close to the ledge, it'll slowly drip down. And if they try to do any sort of nonsense, especially if there's a TNT there, it won't really work out for them. Let's see, back to back to FD. I so Zillion chose this as his counter pick. Yeah, um, so so we went from Yanni's to Zillion's counter pick. I wonder what Zillion likes so much about the stage against Steve. Uh, he doesn't have to deal with some of the like the up tilt TNT ledge traps, but yeah. uh, other than that, it'll Maybe be interesting he, to see what he sees in the stage. I'm thinking the uninhibited use of arc fire. Uh, you don't have to worry about arc fire Probably, on yeah. the platform. And he uses them to break walls pretty consistently, so if he yes. can do it consistently there. That was really weird. Ah, barely missing the ledge to cover that neutral getup, but yeah. uh, getting slight... He had a slight percent lead, but dropping it immediately to Yanni's pressure, the anvil landing hitbox, getting a hit there. Oh, yeah, and that's a clean 67% to start out. Great combo, but man, these walls are just getting higher and higher and higher. 
Yeah, he just he just wants to build it as tall as possible to make sure not a single arc fire goes over. Definitely. Ooh. Let's Speaking see. of arc fire. Oh, he ran uh, out. Running out of yeah. I think maybe back here well. something could have been better, but you know, you know, sometimes resource management can be hard. Still yeah, both out. of these characters have to do so much resource man resource management in the set, uh, but Yanni's just builds up progressively. Yes, and the thing about Robin, you get it to start, but you have to, you know, not use it too much. But I mean, Zillion doesn't get care. Drip. But he's just burning all of Zillion's tomes. No just more arc there. fires and no more levens from Zillion right now. Oh, what out of resources. Grab. Let's see. Dude, that might My heart almost scooped him. That would have been so tragic, but the 11 neutral air able to get him off stage. Ooh, that was some weird I think that block put him in a worse situation than he would have been, but arc fire to dash attack, ending up taking the stop. The drip from the arc fire able to hit underneath the ledge yeah. and get the two frame. Yeah, we were just talking about that, and it came into the use of, man, Robin dash attack is a weird move. I never expect that thing to kill. Well, usually it only kills because it, like, combines knockback with another move or something and has, like, a really weird knockback vector. That does make sense. It's like the prison shank. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's, like, exactly what it looks like. It's so dinky. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't like that move. <laughs> Please. Look at how he, it's, like, five blocks tall now. Dude, that was a two-story like, <laughs> two house. Like, dude, that, that was, like, a three-bedroom, two-bedroom. <laughs> like insane. Oh my god. And is that gonna be no, he, he didn't try and capitalize on it. The anvil not able to take the stock there, but Yanni trying to get as much off of this advantage state as possible. Yeah. Ooh, that was a bad air dodge. Not a crazy punish though. Right now in a ledge trapping situation, just throwing out bears, not able to keep Zillion on the ledge. Ooh. Zillion getting an advantage state and keep putting Yanni into a juggle. How did Yanni get up there? <laughs> like he was so high. Yeah, whenever you can start, like, shielding on the anvil and stuff, that's how yeah. you know that you dropped a little bit too far. Yeah, know? definitely. Yeah, but, man, Zillion's kind of running away with this now. Like, he maybe he just got a little bit more comfortable on FD toward the end of the game and just was like, yeah, I, I feel like this will work for me. And the Thorns are hitting Yeah, now. I think he just got some momentum, figured out how to deal with walls a little bit harder. Definitely. Um, just not getting hit by as much of the Steve Cheese overall. You know... Ooh, never mind. He, he's getting hit by the Steve Cheese. I lied. That is like the Steve bread and butter. Yeah, classic. Is smashing through a block. Yeah, bait, bait someone into trying to bit, like actually break it and then just hunk, smack him up. Still two stocks. However, this could be no, not quite getting the conversion he wanted off of the diamond. Oh, it's always so scary. But no jump from Zillion. Yeah. Ooh, great able to tech. tech and survive. Yeah, Zillion's showing up right now. His his, his techs, honestly, both tech tacking the stage and his just wave bouncing tech in general is just super solid right now. Yeah, even though this is kind of scary for Zillion just because he has diamond, like you're still up two stocks with 69%. Nice. Yes. Ooh, uh, he had to drop shield. Speaking there. of nice, yeah, super good shield pressure from Zillion, <laughs> getting nice. the L Thunder nice. to uh, F Smash there. Just not much Yanni could do out of shield there. Yeah, like, he either dropped it or got his shield popped, uh, or yeah. he got hit. Cross your fingers for the parry, or, uh, you know, get, get out of there. Yeah, Yanni, I feel like most of the time that Yanni's getting punished, it's something having to do with shield. Like, game yeah. one, we saw the Nosferatus. That game, we just saw it losing to the Elf under sh uh, shield pressure there. Yeah. Yanni's going to have to find some way to play a little bit more evasively, I think, and maybe not hide and shield so much against these projectiles. Yeah, he... Because the thing is, the, these little houses that he's making to try and mine safely, they aren't really working out that much. Zillion's using Arc Fire to just like break it and then throwing out that Thoron to do so much shield pressure. Yeah, and, and he's like timing when it's breaking with the Arc Fire, yes. right? Like, so he's still actionable when the wall breaks. He can't be like directly punished, right? Oh, yeah. Which is not giving a lot of time for Zillion to punish, yeah. or for uh, uh, Yanni to punish. Yeah, and, and the thing is, yes, he can like power rail through it. Like, he can use, use the minecart to try and, like, rush down, but at this point, Zillion can react to it at that oh distance. Oh, no! The Ooh. SD from Yanni immediately losing the stock. We're seeing him shake it off a little bit. A li clearly a little bit frustrated by accidentally up being there instead of placing a block. Yeah, and at this point, Zillion can just really zone and keep the game slow. Like, we're, we're still on FD, there's no platforms to run away to, and those arc fires are even more dangerous on the ledge if you can't escape to a platform. Absolutely, but looking at precedent, he's just so comfortable playing safely. Yep, and there's an arc fire and there's the yeah, Thoron. It's arc, just, arc it's so good. And right now, Zillion's just so comfortable playing, like, away because he knows that Yanni has to play his game. Yeah. And he can't really afford to mine for materials because he's going to be losing so much time, and he doesn't even know if he gets diamond if he's going to be able to hit Zillion. Oh, yeah, and, like, Zillion's just using his space, and his shield pressure just immaculate this set. And one of the nicest things about Zillion is if <gasps> for playing such a slow... Oh, Incredible. my God! Yeah. <laughs> Taking the stock with arc fire on the TNT. That is a new one. I have never seen that one before. That is a... <laughs> 
this match, I'm learning more things about this matchup. Like, yeah, Z Zillion game. clearly knows more than we do. Uh, yeah. Oh he's, yeah, he's just showing how much matchup expertise he has, especially with these arc fires coming out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Zillion's no stranger to being one of our like better players. Like, he he's been around town. He, he understands what he needs to do. He, he was trying. He was trying to make up for the last game where he missed the down air with that one. And it's just really interesting to see, like, despite how slow of a character Robin is, Zillion's so good at playing evasively around Yanni. Yes. Right. And like, he, and that, that's just one of Zillion's strengths as a player. He can be in the corner. He can be center stage. He's really hard to hit, and Yanni's really seeing the the tail end of that. Yeah. I mean, he's using he's using these like really powerful movement tech options, like be reversing. Look at him. Yo, he doesn't he, care about. He's swooshing around. He does not care. He does not care. Just throwing the Thoron getting back aired. Yeah. He definitely deserved that. Yeah, you deserve that, bro. <laughs> but I mean, like, at, at this point, like, he really doesn't even and care about the materials. And he's one good Levin hit away from, like, ending the stock in the corner. You oh, know? yeah. He just needs, like, one back air. He gets the roll in, but not quite finding the kill. Ooh, Still nice so far ahead. Oh, what a parry. Yanni finding a combo here, though. This could be a little bit scary for Zillion. Ooh, not yet. Not getting the S-Smash, but that would have ended it up tilt back here. And look at how much percent is already on Zillion in a matter of seconds. Yeah, Steve is it. so fast at racking up damage, and that stock ended, like, from the first hit to the last hit, I think that was, like, 15 seconds. Yep. Tag, tag Tagging the Thoron. This is actually kind of scary for Zillion. Definitely. He has, he has Diamond. He's still mining, trying to get more resources. Yeah, and there's that stone there now, which is just giving him even more protection. And right now, Zillion, he might pay a little bit. Nope, the arc fire jab, no. that's it. Yeah, good stuff to Zillion. Yeah, that, he, he was feeling TNT. confident. <laughs> like, that that was just that was, Yeah, that, that was definitely like a Twitter clip. You yes. know? <laughs> you just... Well, here, here's another thing. Zillion plays Steve. Zillion does play Steve. Like, he, he, I, he, we saw it at, at Odyssey last week. Like he, he's comfortable playing the character, and he's also played so much against the character that he, he just understands what Steve wants to do. That, that was just flat knowledge and good stuff to Zillion. Sh incredible showing against Yanni. Um, but I, I will not count out Yanni for. I believe that was Never. winners correct. So that he, you know, he can hit you once and you die. Yes. So. No. Yanni, we'll, we'll see him again. That X factor, disgusting. Yeah, we'll see him later on.